Hi everybody, I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are drawing the Mayflower using this book called The Adventurous Life of Miles Standish by Cheryl Harness as inspiration. There's this nice pencil drawing at the back of the book that we are going to use. I'm using it extensively. It's in my hand the entire time since I don't really know how to draw, but I am doing a fair attempt at copying this drawing. And I did have to try a couple of times. What you're not seeing is my very first attempt, which only lasted about 10 minutes before I erased the whole thing because the proportions were really off and I was struggling quite a bit with it. So this is my official second attempt and I was quite apprehensive about taking on such a complicated project since this is not something that's my strong suit necessarily, but I am giving it a good try and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And the thing about chalk drawings is that when you really like them, they eventually have to get erased and a new one has to go up. And this is going to be a hard one to erase. Now, this is the first chalk drawing that I'm doing after I have painted my chalkboard. It is a slate chalkboard that had lost a lot of its texture and I was having a really frustrating time in the last like maybe three or four or five chalk drawings where this beautiful chalk pastel just was not sticking to my chalkboard and I was missing out on these vibrant beautiful colors and it was I was down to just basically using white white chalk and just using it for arithmetic or language arts and I wasn't really able to use it very much with or for these chalk drawings so I finally decided to paint it using chalkboard paint by Rustoleum, which the company who makes these chalkboards had advised against since it would ruin the slate aspect of the slate chalkboard, but I went ahead and did it anyway and I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I am now really looking forward to doing more chalk drawings. Now what I forgot to tell you earlier on in this chalk drawing is that I tend to begin my chalk drawings by outlining everything in white. And as you probably noticed as I went along, most of that white got erased by either me erasing it or by the new chalk being colored over it. And this is fine, this is like the whole process, so I don't usually do too much detail when I'm doing my outline. But once the chalk drawing is done, I do like to use either black or white to come back in and do some highlights or some lowlights just to give it a little bit of depth and just some interest. And once the majority of the chalk drawing was done, I was able to come back in and do that. I'm working on the most difficult part right now, which is all the detail on the interior of the boat and I I kind of didn't follow the book so much in this area because it was quite detailed and I really can't draw people and all of mine are just stick figures <laughs> at best and I just tried to put a bunch of stuff in there that looked like it should be there but this is where I took some liberties. All right, so this took about an hour to do. This is a longer chalk drawing than what I normally do, and it'll probably stay up for about two to three weeks for this whole unit on the colonial times for our unit study, and my children will draw this in their main lesson book. And you can see the complete playlist for all of the videos in our Colonial Times unit study by clicking here, and don't forget, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.